what's going on, Capricorn? Let's take a look at this person that clearly has you on their mind, that is feeling or hoping and praying that they can find a way to say that there are still some loose ends to be tied up between you and this person. A special shout out to you, Capricorn, that may have been dealing with an, um, I was going to say an earth sign person, a fixed sign person or have heavy fixed energy in your chart, a Taurus, Aquarius, Leo, or a Scorpio. Capricorn, welcome and welcome back to my channel. This is Down to Earth Tarot. Please hit the like button, subscribe for daily Capricorn readings, and comment down below. Let me know where you are watching from. Always big shout out to everybody in Michigan, especially Lansing and Detroit. And drop your birthday in your sun, moon, and rising. Capricorn, the only thing that I ask for you to do on this channel and my second one, which the link is down below, as well as personal guidance information in the description box, is of course to hit the like button. But mainly it is to use your common sense, right? Please take what resonates and leave what does not. Do not force it. Again, personal guidance information is down below, or you can check out another reading. The person that has you on their mind. Mm. Some of you are dealing with a water sign person. The five of water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Pisces, Cancer with the moon. The king of pentacles. The four of cups, more water. The eight of cups. Mm -hmm. Another four, the four of pentacles. Please drop the repeating numbers you have been seeing lately. And then we see the Page of Swords, Little Light Air Action, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and more of that with the Nine of Swords. Somebody is having some sleepless nights thinking about you because they haven't heard from, seen you. But this individual that has you on their mind right now with all of these feelings and these feelings of deep regret, Capricorn, up close, let's look at it, up close, deep regret. Some of that is what they could have, should have, would have been doing. But I feel like what was being done in the back, this is the energy of somebody feeling really bad, having regrets about doing somebody wrong. doing somebody and, and when i as a reader think of the moon i think of that dr jekyll mr hyde but that two-faced energy somebody possibly living a double life having things going on in the background but it gives a lot of secrets the way a sit the way a situation ended not sitting right with someone and just doubling down on that we see okay the devil some of you dealing with um, another Capricorn. Tap in. Shout out to the Capricorns born on the 5th and the 15th. The 18th showing up and then the strength card here with an 8. Those of you dealing with a Leo. But it is torturing someone how a situation ended. I feel like the guilt is really weighing heavily on somebody. Guilt weighing heavily, especially for those in a situation where lust was the problem. Mm. Lust, pulling you or having you in third party situations here. A lack of control. And a lack of personal control when I think of the devil and the strength card. Personal control, lack of being able to handle their vices, just, just doing a whole lot, not being able to handle themselves. Because it's also like very embarrassed, ashamed energy with the five of cups. Like, the, yeah, it was embarrassing what happened. It was embarrassing how things ended. 
This is the, like, I'm, I'm embarrassed to show my face around here. And some of you, um, this may even be a family member, family situation here. When I think of the King of Pentacles, father figure, brother. But this could also be somebody who owns a business, very financially stable. And I also, it's just this particular King of Pentacles, the fact that it, we see all this water all around and even in the strength card, the water in the background. Um, either somebody lives far away or they live near water. I also get that for someone in this situation, how the, how it ended was, ve was very traumatic for someone. Now, whether that was you, Capricorn, being traumatized by this, by this person, or the way that you stomped out of somebody's life was very traumatic for them. It really left an impression. And I repeat, it is how somebody walked away, either with the dramatics or without saying anything at all, that, that I feel like was really disturbing to this person. Like unexpected, like it was very unexpected. Very unexpected. And the fact that you and this person were very close at one point in time, again, the confidant vibes, but the being somebody's right hand, left hand person. But there's a lack of trust here. Notice how, again, the traumatized eyes in this four of cups, but the fact that this person isn't making eye contact with us, but then it's also the hand in the jacket, like the hiding. Don't want somebody to see what's going on here. And the fact that somebody just, wasn't adult enough for certain situations. If not, that there was a child involved. But it's, but it, really, to me, this speaks to somebody being very immature in their thought process, in their actions, and maybe even in the things that they were saying. Not somebody coming in with the reckless mouth. I also feel like this person on your mind, Capricorn, um, excuse me, the person that has you on their mind, forgive me, is watching. Now, I already did a reading on people that are keeping a, a super tab on you. This isn't that, or at least not to me. This to me is more, I don't have access anymore and I just want to know. Like, I just want to know if Capricorn is the same as I always knew them, or have they moved on? Do, do they have other things? It's just, what is going on with you? Because we see these have even asking third parties about you with the angels up here and even the angels here. It's the keeping tabs on, asking questions about somebody, watching over the internet. And I wouldn't be surprised for some of you um, if this person hasn't previously tried to reach out. Mm -hmm. If this person has not tried to reach out and several times, reaching out directly through other people, indirectly using fake profiles, calling from fake numbers. This is somebody who really feels bad. This is somebody who's been in their head over and over and over again, thinking about how a situation ended, the part that they played. For some of you, it was a situation where it wasn't just their, their actions, but the actions of people around them. Notice the rats around this hangman. Capricorn, who's this person that set you up? or was a part of some ridiculous group activity and now is having regrets. I'm 
the regrets, second thoughts. Now that they're having to deal with the consequences of their actions, and doesn't it just give you the jigsaw vibes? I mean, it's the Edgar Allan Poe vibe one. But wasn't isn't it saw three or four here? Yeah. The consequences of somebody's actions, this distance, the fact that you're not speaking to this person, because they could just be thinking about you and have the ability to just text you instead of having to think about the past and all the good times. Because this is because right now we know this. Somebody knows that the loose end is an apology. The separation is due to, you know, somebody needing to protect themselves do some healing, do some deep introspection, and, and really looking at themselves. It's not just you, but them also. But an apology is necessary. Necessary. Like, it has to start with an apology. And for and I feel like for someone, even with an apology, there's still going to be this separation. Like somebody's still going their separate ways. Mm, the hermit in this eight of cups. Yeah. Even if someone gets the quote closure that they need from you, from them, both parties. Somebody saying that they've changed. I feel like both parties have changed. And with that change has come different boundaries. And while somebody is still deeply feeling the feels here, somebody's become more logical here, Capricorn, about this relationship, about this situation between you and them. And with that is somebody has may have moved on. I, I'm worried that somebody's reaching out, not that it's a bad thing, and it's getting ready to say their piece or you know unload this this baggage, this heavy load that they've been carrying, hoping hoping for this new beginning. And it's not that there's a beef, but what's uh, what has been done has been done. Sagittarius here, Scorpio, Aries, and that Ten of Wands. Yeah. The last straw was, might have been the last straw for someone. Or it's going to take a lot more than just a small apology or a gift or some baby steps. It's going to take more than just a little bit of time. Yeah, somebody's gonna have to. Mm -hmm. Somebody's gonna have to show repeated effort. Yeah, Knight of Cups, Knight of Wands, and the family element, or the fact that you know somebody used to be close, or wanting again this high level of commitment here. The Taurus Libra vibes of this emperor. Yeah. I also feel like somebody's just moved on. Somebody's moved on. And for some of you, you may be even be in a different period of in your life than when you last saw this person. So not it's not just the moving on, but so much time has changed. You've changed. They've changed. People are in a different position. Yeah, timing. So that's the good news when somebody reaches out for those that hear for this from this person, excuse me. There's no beef, there's no anger here. But notice how this cup looks empty. Like it's just like it's dried up. Like there's just there's potential but there's just nothing in it. Like you just don't have anything left to give. You're starting at zero. It really speaks to somebody having to do all of the pouring into a situation in order for an yeah, in order in an effort for it to grow. Because somebody's just been too hurt. 
it's too risky to take to take this leap. Somebody's already been naive here in the past and taken that leap of faith. And clearly the consequences were great. I don't want to say that some people almost ended up in a legal situation, but maybe that was indeed the case here. But the consequences of, again, just risking it or naively, freely walking into it is too great. Somebody regrets what they said. So not just what they were hiding and what they were doing, but also what was said. There must have been a really nasty little falling out between you and this person. Little one-on-one -on -one exchange on their way out. Yeah. And, the, and this energy of not being able to trust someone and somebody not holding somebody down and even watching somebody go down or setting them up from a distance, as we saw earlier. Mm. What goes around comes around. I also feel like there's something public that's happened or happening with them in the background that's got them thinking about you. Kind of one of those, you know, what... What they did to you happened to them kind of things. Yeah, there's a something going on here. When they were peacefully minding their own business, somebody pulled the rug out from underneath them. Yeah. They had to experience it themselves, Capricorn, before they, they were gonna get it, which is wild. What they did to you or what they saw happen to you happened to them. Again, the hand behind the, the sneaking around. Yeah. Do not be surprised if you hear from this person. The reaching. Yeah. Especially if this person is going through it. A legal situation, some of you. Expect this person to be reaching out. Seeing where you're at. What's going on with you? Who is this male figure? Person you used to work with, owns a business, father figure here with the emperor? Uh, yeah, in the situation deep is part of the reason why they are indeed coming back. And again, reaping what somebody is sown with the eights. What goes around comes around. And notice how this person has a pen and buried themselves. Family. Somebody's getting a taste of their own medicine, and that's what's got them thinking about you heavily, thinking about reaching out, thinking about, okay, apologizing, reconciling, getting back in, on good terms with you. Uh, what is this legal situation here that's really, that's really got this, that's really bringing, I feel like, a family situation back together or has somebody rethinking about their family? Wanting to make a situation right here. Seeing where somebody's at. Again, this, this thinking about the past, wanting to balance things out, but really seeking forgiveness. Capricorns, please drop this person's sign down below. Let me know what resonated. Hit the like button. Subscribe for daily Capricorn readings. Um, if you know this person sign, you can cross watch for them on my second channel. Link is down below. Personal guiding and inf guidance information is down below as well. And Capricorns and cross watchers, I will be tapping in with you very soon. Keep it real.